Hello, canoeist Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with the Main Guide, and today we're going to do how to put together your own bread mixes at home for a canoe trip. Let's do something that's one of the most versatile and easy to do. So I'm going to start with a biscuit mix. So you're going to take all the dry ingredients that are in a biscuit mix. I'm using the, what's on the back of the Bakewell cream can. So that's flour, soda, Bakewell cream, and salt, and the half a cup of shortening. All of it is going to be in a bowl, including the shortening, and we're going to cut all that in and toss it in a Ziploc bag. Into... The Ziploc bag. Little trick to it. Okay. That's all it takes up in a canoe trip. Okay, let's talk some of the tools in your kit to be able to bake on a river. And it's not a lot. Um, a little jar of rolling flour. Okay. Um, every recipe that ever called for milk, I always use powdered milk. So you want a little container of powdered milk. I do like a lot of powdered milk and a little bit of water so it's nice and thick. But any recipe that ever called for milk, all I ever did was powdered milk. Um, a rubber spatula. Roll of paper towels is always good to have. Aluminum foil. Optional. And a, a container of Pam. It's always nice not to have to scrub at the end of the night. Um, here's a good thing. Parchment paper works the same in front of a fire as it does in your oven. Huh, powerful, right? So what I do is I only put it on things that will burn. Sugar burns, okay? So I will fold it to the shape of the reflector oven pan and then I'll flip it over so I don't have to deal with the seam. But that's pretty much, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then when you have your mixes, they're just, squeeze the air out of the bag, they're just in there and they take up no room at all. If, if, if I'm doing for less than a dozen people, I would cut that in half. Um, and a mixing bowl. Now, I've used everything for the clean surface to do this. I've used, I flipped a canoe over and used the bottom of a canoe and had a clean, one of those clean plastic cutting boards. That's key too. I should have added that in the tools. Um, but I've used the bottom of a canoe, a picnic table, the top of a, a York pack, York trip box, um, anything, anything flat. It only, it does, it only has to be as big as the cutting board. You're not talking a huge surface here. So now we're on a river and we're going to reverse engineer this. You've got your bag full of mix. That's going to go in the mixing bowl. If you don't have to measure, you don't have to cut, you don't have to have any tools. Here is the powdered milk. We're just going to, that's a lot of powdered milk for a little bit of water. That's how I like to do that. So we're just going to add that. Mix that up. And then we're going to dump it in and make the dough. So now when you've got it like dough, mix it up. You're going to have to learn what it feels like. I don't measure anything because I could be doing it for a dozen. I could be doing it for five the next day or the next trip. So get to know what it, what biscuit dough feels like. The more you need it, the tougher it gets. So you don't want to go crazy, but there's no tools involved. It's all scoop it out of the bowl. It's all your hands. So you're going to make a little, a little circle. I'm, I split the batch. I want to do two things that are my favorite biscuit, cinnamon rolls, and just biscuits. So then, um, famous biscuit cutter here. You're just going to cut this into the biscuits and then um, I'm going to show you how to do the cinnamon roll mix next. One of the most beloved things on a river is cinnamon rolls. So it's a very simple base that you can make at home. You're going to start with one stick of melted butter, okay? 
And in this, you're gonna throw white sugar, brown sugar, raisins, pecans, um, apple, dried apples, whatever you want. Um, and I, I'm gonna make the mix and then I'm gonna throw it in a Ziploc bag. Once you've got it looking like a paste, it will fit in a small Ziploc bag like this. Now, you're gonna to wanna to put it in a Ziploc bag because when you get ready to use this on a river, it could be cold, it could be frozen. Cinnamon rolls are best on a cold morning. And if it's a Ziploc bag, you can like slam this on a table, you can take it in your hands and you can break up the paste so that you can get it on the dough and make cinnamon rolls. If it's in a container or like a jar, it's much, much harder. So here we go, cinnamon rolls. A little bit of rolling flour. We're gonna take the rest of our big biscuit dough. We're gonna dump it on there. Still no tools. I know this looks like, oh geez, Lisa, this is a lot of trouble. This is this, this is that. But if, when the water's frozen and you can't do anything else, um, you might as well um, set these up in the winter time. They'll stay good all winter long and then you have them on a river. And on a river, you're not doing all this prep. You're not doing all this trouble. You're opening a Ziploc bag and you're dumping it in a bowl and you're adding a little bit of powdered milk and water and you're getting biscuits. Now, still no tools, you're gonna make it oblong, okay? Cause we're doing cinnamon rolls. So you're gonna make like a, you're gonna push it out with your hands until it's kind of square. Then you're gonna take your paste and you're just going to spread it in. So I'll spread this paste and then I'll get back with you. So there it is. There's the biscuit dough. You've spread the cinnamon roll paste as evenly as you can on it. And then we're just going to, we're going to roll it. So still no tools. What you're going to do is you're going to start rolling it this way. Just roll it up like that. Then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna cut it. So now you're just gonna cut them about two inches. <laughs> just like that. Cinnamon rolls and they're gonna go on the parchment paper because remember, sugar burns. And you don't wanna be doing dishes. So there's the biscuits and the cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna cheat. Put them in the oven at home, but you should always do a recipe you're going to do on a river at home first. You can learn just as much. So here's a little finished product, the biscuit, the biscuit cinnamon roll. I'm going to flip this around to its best side. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm Lisa D. Hart. You've just spent three minutes with the main guy. Mm -hmm.